I think uh, there is a mandate which should be bared by the human rights inter uh, international groups. Uh, the, the most important thing is to exert more pressure in the Western government who has a strong relation with Bahrain government so that more pressure can be exerted to... I don't think that it is possible to change the whole situation in Bahrain. But at least we have found out during the past two years that whenever there is a concern or a pressure in a specific cases, the consequences will be less than the others. I mean, when there were pressure in the, in the, in the uh, doctor cases, a lot of them have been courted. It is exactly the same. Now there is a new wave of cases where uh, detainees are facing a dark future where the anti-terror law is implemented and life sentence is uh, inevitable. That's why we, I think we need more and strong uh, words from the British and the American government who is strong allied to Bahrain government to stop this aggression and this inhuman measures against detainees and to 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 prove the overall situation the whole overall human rights situation actually the, the the measures has been intensified and human rights violation been been increased during the past few months or a year as the government were waiting after a year of uprising and uh, more than 100 casualties, life lost, and thousands being sacked from their jobs. They were waiting that all things will be settled and there will be a calm in the situation in Bahrain. But when they saw the uprising is being intensified, the, 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 the people are not going back to their homes, uh, still stuck to their demands. Now they have no way either to intensify the measures against people. That's why we have seen some of, of uh, measures which were not taken even during the martial law, like revoking the citizenship, uh, demolition, the, the mosque, mosque again, uh, in jailment of women again, where they have been